Well, hi all. This is Dane at Johnny Guitars, and I guess this will be my official introduction to the great guitar build-off uh, 2021. Um, definitely in. I signed up on the first day you could sign up. I already put a little short, brief little video out about that. Um, I uh, had a lot going on, um, so I'm definitely, I'm just going to get right on this and and start, uh, you know, making dust here. I've got uh, I've got plenty of material on hand. Um, I am having to order in all of the electronics and bridges and things like that. Tuners. Uh, uh, this is the first base I've ever built, and uh, I guess I should have explained that I'm building a base, but uh, I'll get to that. And so um, I've got. Uh, over 300 videos uh, on my channel and if you care to go back and watch some of those you uh, you'll see one that was a ES335 uh, build of uh, all maple all carved not pressed and um, that uh, that was a client build specifically built to order um, this is going to be a 335 body shape but it's going to be nothing remotely like that other guitar. Um, this will be a four string bass, 30 inch scale. Um, I, uh, I have mahogany here on the bench that I'm going to show you and it's it's also uh, I got a nice piece of wenge that's going to be the fretboard. It's going to be mahogany body, mahogany neck, and then uh, the wenge fretboard. It's going to be very subdued, um, not going to have a burst on it. It's probably just going to be uh, grain filled and oiled. Um, I, I personally am not a fan of binding from the player's standpoint. I love the look of binding. I think it's really sharp. But when I play square edged guitars that are bound, they annoy me. And uh, so I've had a vision of building a 335 all mahogany with no binding just as a six string but when this came along I thought what can I do to kind of up the game a little bit here because uh, I've already done the guitar six string deal uh, this is going to appear to be simpler just because it's not as appointed but it's uh, by no means will it be simpler it's just different um, Still going to be a challenging build. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get started on it right away. Um, like I said, so I'm going to set the camera back up, show you what I've got to work with from material. And uh, maybe as we go along, I will reveal a little bit more detail wise, but uh, no reason to try to lay it all out right now. And um, if I read the contest rules correctly, they're really hoping for no more than six videos at about 15 minutes each. Let's uh, let's get to it here. I'll just uh, show you a few things. All right, so this started out as about a 10 foot board. Uh, I had to cut 40 inches of it off to get it in the car. Um, when I purchased it, it's it's a eight quarter, they call it two inches in thickness. This happens to be uh, nine inches across and just rough this out so I don't have enough uh, I don't have any width left on this thing to technically to get me uh, a neck blank running down the edge here of what's left over so you can see so pretty much this, uh, this whole nine inches this is a 16 inch wide guitar so you know eight inches per side um, just gonna lob this in half Pretty much, um, this mayor, you know, I'm not necessarily laying this out. I'm just drawing this as a visual for you to see kind of where we're going here. So front and back, uh, and then pretty much rip it down the middle, resaw it right down the middle. We'll get all these pieces uh, edged and glued together, and then. Uh, once that's done, rough shape everything out and start carving. Oh, look, boys and girls, what just showed up? 
Uh, I was just putting that piece of uh, Wingate back and uh, this piece of, um, uh, well, kind of trade name Bolivian Rosewood uh, Palo Ferro. Uh, Murano, I believe is the other. Uh, Murado. Um, just popped out of nowhere and that's a beauty too. I really like this wood. So this could, uh, this could just as easily become the fretboard. Uh, so that right there makes this 18-inch, uh, 1956, 18-inch bandsaw with a one-inch blade in it, worth every penny I spent. Um, I used to, you saw the other little saw in the background. Last time I did a 335, I had to go over to a friend's shop uh, and uh, and use his saw, which was a great saw. Uh, there's. There's our, there's our pieces right there. There's our book match. It's nothing, uh, you know, wildly figured. That wasn't the intent, but it's a, it's going to be a great book match. And I got the front and the back, and I'll just look at both of them and determine which one I think is best suited for which. I'll get these. Uh, I'll check and make sure they're they're jointed good. I've already jointed them before I split them. But we'll see how that looks, and then uh, I'll get them glued up. I should uh, I should make it known I'm in my fish glue phase, uh, so I'm kind of like uh, I'm liking this a lot. It's hot high glue without the hassle. Don't have to worry about keeping it hot. It can stay open a lot longer than high glue, hot high glue. Uh, I've never used the Franklin, uh, you know, cold high glue in the bottle. I, I got nothing to say about that one or the other. Um, this, however, has been working out great. Uh, I've glued necks in with it. I glued up, uh, just glued up a neck blank with it as well uh, for something else. Strap build uh, that I have going simultaneously. Um, I have this ongoing um, discussion with a friend on YouTube and on a forum the guitar attack form and uh, I always say that if you get plenty of glue on one surface you're fine and uh, I still believe that but Steve if you're watching this could be a first um, I just drug my my sleeve through the other glue there's a good reason not to do both sides all right crap Fortunately, this is a really crummy sweater. Ah, now, and nothing fancy here. Uh, basically, I don't want to go get my little notch trowel, I notch, whatever you want to call it, putty knife that I usually use for this sort of thing. Now, I'm giving that kind of a look and a promise because I think I put the heavier concentration on this side. Uh, I like the fish glue a lot. Um, and this, you know, this is a semi-hollow body, but you know, this particular seam isn't what anybody's going to call, well, somebody would call it because they call solid body guitars resonant and all that, but this, this seam stays three quarters of an inch at this point 
and uh, 11 16 so three quarters of an inch at this point and it's going to be left two inches wide and then carved the inside of the top so basically you're not going to have a lot of wood movement right there is what I'm getting at so tonal properties fish glue versus uh, say tight bond original not not even much we could uh, worry about Thank <laughs> you.